Hello, and welcome to the next episode of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Uh, criminal past. We were at the criminal past. And this smiley man is uh, Stenger. He is the director of the prison where Adam Jensen is. And my guess would be is that he is involved into augmentation trading of sorts because he mentioned that after the riot that's going on in this prison merchandise will be just lying on the floor always watching because you are always watching this is a very specific uh, statement Those are somebody's handcuffs, right? Hmm. Okay, let's screw up the security. Anomaly detected. Trace probe access granted. No fee. Schedule for cell block A. Uh, okay, keep a close eye on Ro. If we get any more complaints about him, he's off the schedule. Let me know if you need anything else. Is this it? <coughs> Here's your next lot. Congrats, you got a celebrity coming in next week. Jay Carter is one of those Ox celebrities. My, kid my kids love him. Too young to know, I suppose. He forged his taxes and look where it got him. Okay. Two years, level one. He's not really augmented then, right? United States uh, Department of Correction against uh, ranks in top 10 of 2029 best places to work in the federal government. The Partnership for Public Service yesterday released uh, the results of the 2029 best places to work in the federal government rankings and the US Department of Corrections has once again ranked in the top 10 placing third overall among the 19 large federal agencies. <coughs> and also ranked third in effective leadership, strategic management, and support for diversity. Cool. Okay. So we have an elevator over here that can take me up. And this is it. And while I appreciate that, I'd prefer to use the stairs. Ooh. Oh, you are friendly, right? Um. 
put that away if you aren't going to use it. You should have seen the look on their face. Red shoes started handing them bio cells. No shit. Red shoes did it? No way he did it alone. I heard there was one inmate who helped him out. Who? I don't know. Whoever it was, they're a hero, man. is for someone to tell me that the worst of it is over. Ah, need another hit. Never seen anything the like it. Orin Kepak, what's going on? Are you okay? Pray for us. Orin, the budget for the automated defenses was given a yellow light, so I'll be presenting a revised proposal to the board soon. Check with Madeline and book a meeting with me for tomorrow. I need you to come up with ways to make it more appealing. The board didn't know what to make of all the tech talk. What they want to see is the ROI they will get out of their investment. <coughs> we should use the Wilberg tragedy to our advantage, tell them that we can avoid future PR disasters if we had more modern drones and so on. To all employees, we are looking for volunteers to help facilitate the upcoming board game night. Do we have any Masters of Dungeons working here? Just takes one guy to start a fucking riot. Ha! Ken, Mejia is saying he's sick and can't clean up the showers in the morning. He's asking if he can make up uh, the time by doing the midnight shift on the commun... Communico? Communal for? I approved for request. I approved the request, the, but Sanger's probably going to chew me out. For some reason, he gets a kick out of forcing Mihia to clean the showers every day. Either way, make sure Mihia knows he's back on shower duty from tomorrow. This isn't permanent. So Agent Guerrero had asked for a schedule change to his work detail. Something about that struck me as odd. Could have been for his investigation. Or if Stenger was to be believed, maybe it was to get close to Wilbur. Either way, I knew once I reached him, I needed some answers. Security level 3? Helen McGuire. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. I never cleared that inmate to do an unmonitored work detail in the infirmary. If she said I said that, it's why. Anyone who actually reads his psych file would understand just how potentially dangerous he is. I don't give a, I don't get why she's interfering all of a sudden. She's never overruled me like this before. This letter suggests that the fixer is extremely dangerous. Ellen, I understand your concerns about this assignment, but I reviewed his file myself. We are simply following the recommendations of the Arizona State Psychiatrist Rehabilitation Program. I'm surprised Kelvin seems to be ignoring this fact. 
The effect of given responsibility was cited as a positive tool for someone rebuilding their self-worth. He is only manning the infirmary for visits, taking messages and continuing to log inventory in the absence of Dr. Essel. Honestly, it would be a shame not to take the advantage of the man's positive attitude and wanting to help. I could appreciate you trusting our judgment on this. Mr. Stenger has clear instructions to pay close attention to the guy and I trust everything in he is in hand. Come on, this way. Rundown of social events. They do have some neuropathy on them, but I don't know why. Restricted access key card. Probably a mistake. <coughs> I did not check up with the I did not verify that uh, this place is safe. I totally should be able to get that. Especially given that they provide me with a proxy kit and I already have five of them. Now that that's clear, we can finally go in. That's just an observation platform, right? There is nothing specific over here. Won't hurt you too much. 
people who own the crystal. Flossie's hiding out in the warden's office, miles away from the front line. Okay. Going to find something. Reinforcements are on their way. You will need to log in to the helipad turrets and make sure the incoming support isn't tagged as hostile this time. Okay, apparently the cavalry is on the way. So perhaps it would make sense to exercise some haste. Maybe not that level of haste, you know? <laughs> I don't understand why do they react. I, I seriously don't. How am I supposed to uh, approach them? This is literally the slowest speed that I'm able to, to, to give it. Like, is there some key binding that uh, I'm just skipping? So we, we have crouch, yeah. Walk on caps lock? How's that? Oh. Our ventilation shafts. It goes uh, several ways. Kinda... Um, 
confined here, so... I mean, this is my favorite room. Maintenance locker. Infirmary key card. The body of Ian Wilborg found within the prison's morgue. An autopsy was in progress and the heart was missing from the chest cavity. I see you are interactable. Yes, sir, Mr. Stenger. Whatever you say. Mr. Walters? You found me. Uh, hiding in my hole. Uh, of course, uh, not much of a surprise. I'm where they told me to be. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm starting to think I need to get used to that. Uh, when last we spoke, uh, the PA called me by name to the infirmary, they said. A lot's happened since then. The Rising, yes. Mr. Flossie didn't fabricate feelings out of nothing, though he does have a way of, of uh, fashioning frustrations and, and, and uh, coordinating courage. He can be very comprehensible. Flossie, huh? He orchestrates others. Uh, you and I, we, we know this already because we tampered precisely like he asked, uh, which makes us part of it. That tampered biocell I delivered for Flossie. What was it exactly? Source of energy, more makeshift than what they ever took from us. Made with seven strains of Teddy's love. Could give a man access again to what he was. Without which Mr. Flossie says, we are nothing. And me handing it over to Red Shoes. That had something to do with the riot starting? Integral, yes. Gave him the ability to cloak through all their measures, to liberate the violence that was locked away, and flood both blocks with power, and, 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 and we're all just swimming in it now. Yeah, we're all drowning. What about that suppression chip all the inmates have installed? Isn't that supposed to keep something like this from happening? The choke chokes, yes. When we exert energy, and it will mitigate. Will hurt like all hell any man who tries to use his augs to the full extent that any tampering could allow. Unless, of course, he got my fix. Your fix? The drug you've been handing out? It was designed with the riot in mind? Yes. Mr. Flossie wanted them to be ready. So, a prison full of drugged up and pissed off convicts with unmitigated access to their augs. At no point did that seem like a bad idea to you? At no point did Mr. Flossie ask me to formulate an opinion. Okay, so formulate one now. Uh, 
I... I think it's exciting. I can imagine Flossie being persuasive enough to incite something like this. The part I don't get is why. Well, a man's motives mean nothing to me. I... I don't think to ask. Best planned uprising in the world. It's still suicide. It's not gonna help anyone get off this rock. Uh, certainly not, no. Most men have given up hope of leaving, and even with my special biocells, they can't sustain. Meaning, any inmates who use them are bound to burn out long before the law. So it is suicide. That's... that's not the word Mr. Flossie used. <laughs> so now what, you sit tight and hide while all hell breaks loose outside? I... I fix for kicks. Make myself available. Whenever someone needs, I'm here to help. What kind of help are you offering? Well, let's see. A man like yourself, man of the world. I, I, uh, well, I do have one last pill. Lint-laced, but still. Still good. Good at making a man feel like himself. Interested? I'm not gonna push my luck. One pill is more than enough for me. Smart, 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 intelligent. You know what they say. One, 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 four, everyone. Mmm, linty. How many of those pills have you taken? A lot. Mr. Flossie told me to, uh, to, 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 to test and get it right. I. I took a lot. My kinds of quantities are not recommended. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna stick with the one. Surrender to your nearest correctional officer immediately, or deadly force will be used against you. No. I am actually interested in something, real quick. I want to see if this dialogue changes if I have Cassie. Um, I do have Cassie, right? Huh. Okay. Then we'll just skip the dialogue once again real quick. I, I thought that given that we have been provided some kind of information that uh, he is actually extremely dangerous, I may consider approaching him with, uh, uh, with Cassie activated. Like, uh, prepared for the... Smart. Smart. One a day keeps the choke away. Prepared to all kind of bullshit that he might have. Alright, Teddy. Let's see what you got. Hmm. Huh. You can trade with Teddy. Okay. Smart. Smart. One a day keeps the choke away. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. One, one, one for everyone. Access granted. Help is on the way. <coughs> Suzanne. To follow up on our conversation, I've gotten confirmation that the new nurse will be joining us next week. Seems as though telling them that we've had to resort to stuffing the infirmary with an inmate was enough to get them to pony up the money for our budget. 
I was going to pull the guy out of there, but I'm getting resistance from Stinger for some reason. I can't understand that man sometimes. One day he's justifying to me that the inmates can't be trusted and need to be taught who's boss, and the next he's telling me that people like this guy deserve a chance or they'll never get back on track. Bear with the situation for a little while longer. I'll review again next week. Hi, Susan. I looked over the list you sent, and if you allow me to be a little unprofessional, this inmate Walters is amazing. The sheer number of augmentations implanted is incredible. And their quality is upper upper level. I mean, serif implants were never cheap, and this guy is full of them. I asked around, and a friend of, fri of a friend say they saw a few of the same augments on soldiers in the Australian Civil War. Make sure your people keep him properly neutralized, for your sake. Please take note that for hygienic reasons and allergies, it's forbidden to leave dirty utensils on any cafeteria, countertops and all inside sinks. Dirty utensils should be rinsed and placed inside the dishwasher. If they are full or already on, it is your responsibility to clean and store them inside the utensil drawer, especially during the weekends. So we have a way to administration here, apparently. I believe this is this building, right? What's this building? Is it the roof? Maris Asimpatio, dear nurse Asim... Okay, my name is Leonardo Sanchez, I just started working here two months ago, can I see you? Karen is a ca in accounting told me that you occasionally provide minor health services for the staff. An official policy says I'm supposed to go off-site to see a doctor in town, but I'm wondering if you'd bend the rules a little for me. I have a style, I've had it before, a style, okay. I normally treat it myself, but it has been over 48 hours of warm compresses and it's still around. I need to be lensed by someone who isn't me. There is an inmate in block A complaining about a tooth related issue. He says it had nothing to do with his orgs. Do I let him go to the doctor or do we have a dentist in the infirmary? Some guards say no and some say yes. Is it the fixer? I don't know if they're pulling my chain because I'm new or if either of them actually knows the answer. I figured I should just ask someone who works in the infirmary to get the real answer. Okay, nothing criminal in that computer. But why would this area be locked? Apart, of course, from the fact... I have a feeling like this thing's supposed to move. All right, not all right. Level five, my ass.
Окей. Okay. So it's actually nothing extremely. Uh, secretive. I mean, it is a secret entrance, <coughs> and I have no idea who might have ever used it. Weird, it says solitary confinement is in this area. So yeah, administration is right in front of me, right? Uh, okay. We have a security code for the bots on top. Here is my multi tool. I have a feeling like I can only take an elevator there. Check that out. Okay, there was an option, but you really need to jump high to get to it.
to Mexico and news that the Russian Federated States have pledged aid to the Mexican. Correctional officer immediately, or deadly force will be used against you. So that's not really cool that I cannot block this window. That's absolutely really not cool. Holy crap, Chris. Run diagnostics on the automated security console. Seems it was hardcore hacked and set to delete its own code after it was set to target an inmate with a specific ID number, Ian Wilburg. According to the logs, inmate Oscar Mejia was in here for cleaning duty at around the same time the sentry's protocols were updated. Inmates aren't authorized to clean security offices as far as I know. Okay. So Agent Guerrero had requested a schedule change that put him on the same work detail as Wilberg. And now I found a log showing he had unauthorized access to automated security. Could have been nothing, but that's where the robots were programmed with official protocols. It left me with some obvious questions. showing he had unauthorized access to automated security. Could have been nothing, but that's where the robots were programmed with official protocols. It left me with some obvious questions. <coughs> but that's where the robots were programmed with official protocols. It left me with some obvious questions. I do have enough proxies points to just make myself invisible and go away. Now I have even more of them. Also, I have plenty of bias cells, if that is correct. Oh, you have five of them. Not sure if that's... A lot or what? That's at least something. <sighs> so, I believe our solitary confinement... 
somewhere over there. Brock, still worried about the automated security since that sentry attack in B-Block. Make sure you regularly check the drone settings in processing. The last thing we need is them turning on us. Oh, hell no, I'm not going up through here. That's crazy. It's not like I have a lot of options here, right? Yeah, well, that's not an option. The big guys dude will spot me. Must be possible. It's kind of tough, but it is possible. I wonder if if it tells me only now that this is a restricted area, what was before that? Semi-restricted area? Yeah, and uh, it looks like each camera is protected, each cell is protected by a camera.
I'm sorry, I'm just curious where all those vents might uh, lead me to. Okay, that's some kind of server room. Restore power to the security system in the case of an emergency shutdown. All output coils must be simultaneously reconnected to the main central power node. And why would I want to do that? Or not do that? Uh. Stun button. Use a manual. Mihi is added to the guest book on a TVI, but I'm going to have to move him out of the SO4. Because Stenga was busting my balls for not putting him in 06 as per his orders. Not gonna agree, but not gonna argue, but that cell needs a good clean. We only just got Brito out of there. Feels like 06 has a revolving door lately. I got me here moved and shipped the other quanks back to their respective blocks when I have time later. Now some servers has been have been disengaged. This means uh, the cell doors of solitary can't be opened. When everything settles down, just reinstall them. 90% of all computers have switched over to emergency mode. 80% of all non-essential servers have been powered down. 100% of all essential servers are up and running. 100% of all remote backups are clean. During last move, we had to adjust several desks to accommodate employee needs. This led us to discover that some people are having fun sticking gum under their desks. If you can believe, one desk had 104 pieces of gum. Yes, I counted because I couldn't believe it. Let me remind you that this practice is prohibited and there are more suitable places to deposit your gum. Anyone heard of a trash can? Something in an email about Cell 6 and Solitary had started me thinking that there was more to that place than at the eye. Okay, 6 is uh, that one. Okay.
All inmates must dispose of their weapons, return to their cells, and await further instructions. I think it's time you told me what's going on, Mahia. Yeah, sure. I'll tell you whatever you need. Just get me out of here. So, Agent Guerrero was still alive in solitary when you found him. What happened next? It turned out the security systems controlling the door's locking mechanisms were offline. I needed to reset them in the server room below solitary. Once that was done, I could use the console in the security office to unlock his door. Ah, shit. I never liked this kind of thing, but apparently I'm good at it. I need number six, I believe. Let's start with number six. Return to your cells immediately. Inmates who do not comply will be shot on site. for that you're confused focus on your memories Adam Maybe I don't. I know where this is. So it will lead me over here. I 
An augmented heart found in maintenance tunnel under solitary confinement amongst several other augmented limbs. It appears to have been recently removed from its owner. Alright, let's open me here and uh, let them out. not going anywhere until you fill me in, Agent. Fill you in? Stenga's trying to kill me, Walters. You want my help dealing with those terrorist attacks? We have to leave. So now you're willing to help? You might have gotten yourself on death row, Mejia, but a few more minutes isn't gonna change anything. Stenga filled me in. Said you've gone off the rails and he's the better man for the job. Your job. With Junkyard. Mind explaining that? It's... better you don't get involved. If I don't get involved, you'll be dead tomorrow. And any chance of stopping those terror attacks will die with you. Now talk. Okay, look. I don't know what Stenger told you, but I guarantee it's all lies. Two years ago, Interpol got worried about a new player at the table. Junkyard. They needed eyes and ears on the inside, so they threw me into the deep end to go fishing. And you hooked something big. It took a while, but I eventually sniffed out that JY was into black market ogs. A lot of Augs. And I wanted to know where they were getting them. No points for guessing the answer. This prison. It's the operation Stenger was talking about. Ding ding, Walthus. He's been running the show for a while now. Using the system to cover up a harvesting scheme. Inmates are pushed over the line, given a death sentence, and end up the next day with their Augs ripped out by Wirthmuller in the morgue. The Fixer is involved in this too? You're surprised? He's Stenger's little butcher boy. Whatever the man wants, war cuts it out. If you and Stenger are both supposed to be playing the same side, why would he want you out of the picture? Stenger's got power in here, but he's not junkyard yet. He's always resented the fact I was jumped in. With me gone, he thinks he can take my place on the ladder. I don't know. He doesn't strike me as the kind of man who can run something like this. Oh, you'd be surprised. A hammer ain't shot, but it can still get the job done. I got JY to send me in. But make no mistake, with the power of the so-called justice system behind him, this is Stenger's ship. Who and what gets harvested? It's his call. No one tried to stop him? Stenger can't murder inmates at will without someone taking notice. He can when he hides behind the state of Arizona's terminal violation policy. It's okay to destroy a dangerous AUG, right? Especially one in prison. 
Lately, though, three strikes for pretty much anything will get you a trip to hole six. Hole six? Stenger moves the bodies from here to be carved up at the infirmary by the fixer. They use maintenance tunnels under the prison to keep it all out of sight. I'd be dead and dice by sunrise if it wasn't for you. If you hadn't declared yourself Dark Opal, we would have been able to contact you without all this trouble. Why didn't you just tell Interpol what was going on and let them deal with it? I went Dark Opal so the suits couldn't fuck things up. Interpol isn't interested in the long game anymore. They want immediate results. So it's okay for you if this harvesting ring continues? That's not what I'm saying. Junkyard have some impressive shit going on. If we let them know we're onto them now, they'll just vanish somewhere else and I'll lose what I've been working for all this time. So we just insert another agent. We did it once, we can do it again. It's not that easy. Interpol pushed me under what? Two years ago and I'm only just starting to reap the rewards. Junkyard are huge on loyalty from both sides. Trust me, it takes time and pays well to look after that. Something isn't adding up about Wilbur's murder. You're saying you weren't involved at all? What? What are you talking about? I told you. Stenger has it in for me. I wasn't even near Wilberg's cell that day. I was on shift cleaning that fucking shower like always. Besides, the sentry took him out. Do I look like a fucking robot to you? Okay, enough with the bullshit. You keep telling me that we're both on the same side. How about you be straight with me for once? Huh? What the hell are you saying, man? I saw that you specifically changed your work schedule to be near Wilberg the night he was killed. You were also logged breaking into automated security. The same place someone would need to be if they wanted to, say, hack a sentry. Okay. Okay, look, you're right. I didn't know what else to do. Wilberg somehow found out I was Interpol, okay? He threatened to expose me. I couldn't risk that. I don't know why I... I should have been honest with you, Walters. I'm sorry. I've been down a long time, man. Sometimes you forget which way is up. All right, I've heard enough. Terror attack or not, you're not doing anyone any favors by dying in this cell. Time to leave. I ain't gonna argue with that. Lead the way, Jose. You got an escape plan? The transport I came in on yesterday should still be on the roof. Can you fly? No need. The prison birds run on automated flight paths to stop hijackers. We can just hack the route. As long as the security systems are shut down, we'll be free to fly out of here and sip pina coladas all the way to Panama. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'll take care of the flight path. No, let me go to the tower. <coughs> I know where to break into the system. Old school. I'll have just enough time while you handle the rest. There are two turrets on the roof and an aircraft tracking system that you'll need to disable. There's an override in the warden's office. All right, what about Stenger? As long as he doesn't get to JY before I do, there's no problem. Hey, uh, I'm happy you're here, man. You have no idea. I'll see you at the landing pad. Good luck. Cool. Today's <coughs> force protocols dictate that you should have called for an immediate extraction. Going against protocol could have jeopardized the mission. If Agent Guerrero was right and our intel was wrong, then the mission had changed. Terror attack or not, Agent Guerrero wasn't going to be any help if he was dead. So, with that amazing thought in mind, why don't we wrap the episode around here? Uh, it was a nice one. We uh, we explored quite a chunk of the prison. It's not the administration building. I'm sorry, I got confused. Uh, but we we go our way to the solitary confinement uh, we are discovering what's going on in the prison and at the moment I'm uh, I still did not make my mind up uh, about uh, me here like I, I usually prefer to claim people as being good or bad I'm not sure such black and white uh, clean separation is possible in this case um, but yeah this was the episode and uh, we
we are keeping it quiet all the noise goes uh, from other inmates i have nothing to do with that at all i'd like to thank you for staying with me i hope you enjoyed the content and in such a case please leave a like and subscribe to the channel otherwise let me know down in the comments what i can improve for you hope to see you next time have a nice day out there and bye